welcome back to send crypto it is uh, january 8 2020 uh 9 30 p.m eastern time uh current price of btc uh, uh on coinbase uh roughly around like a, a, a 79.81 right so uh in today's content we're going to talk about btc we're going to talk about btc uh, regarding the volume uh we're going to talk about it on the weekly monthly and uh down to the one hour time frame okay and we're also gonna you know uh, talk about the uh, macro spec uh, uh the macro macro structure and see like a pc you know if like we can get a cheaper prices for btc or we just have to go to the moon and then uh, uh look for a top formation uh somewhere to uh basically uh, sell our btc most of us are looking for a BC like a uh, you know bit most of us looking for BTC to a moon but uh, we basically don't have any price target to the upside right so everybody want BC to go to the upside but basically uh, you know so we might take a you know few minutes to talk about the target to the upside right just uh, for a speculative uh, purposes right so let's get it started guys so excuse my voice I'm uh, I'm just uh, not uh not a hundred percent today so so let's take a look at it uh let's take a look at the volume on uh, on the bigger picture so today we're going to use like coinbase just to take a look at it on uh on a weekly uh, uh weekly basis first of all so basically what what i've been looking for uh, regarding the volume being like uh, extremely extremely low the last few weeks uh last week we talked about the volume being so low and being dominated by the by the bulls and we said like uh, you know be cautious uh you know if you're pretty much very bearish uh one thing to uh, avoid is like uh, getting inside the you know the bullish territory of a uh, uh the bullish basically the bullish territory which is like a uh, below 7k so uh take a look at the chat room first of all below 7k being like a, a bold uh, you know a uh, a bull territory since like uh you know late november so it is not a it is not advisable it is not uh, a good idea to uh, be a uh, shorting bc below 7k unless you try to get a uh, good average and then uh, uh holding your short below uh, below 7k so let me take a look at the chat room very quick it's going to be a fun live stream guys uh, uh, it's going to be a fun live stream we're going to take our time uh, and then uh, we're going to analyze the price from weekly monthly uh, uh, you know daily down to a uh, one minute time frame okay so make sure to hit the likes first of all and then uh, subscribe or join our public telegram group if you want to upgrade to our premium member to get these daily analysis how to you know spot the top how to spot the bottom how to get in get out put your stop loss and then wait for the next trade stuff like that make sure to join our premium member right so volume first of all uh, you can see like a uh, back in uh, july first thing first we spotted the top okay we said like uh, exactly you know 14k could be possibly the top you, you, if you compare 14k the top of a uh, uh, you know uh, of this uptrend to the uh, top of the uh, 20k pretty much very similar most of the time you get like a four more week and then you most of the time you get like the biggest volume of the uh, you know of your uh, uptrend you're gonna get it at the top that's a, that's a good sign of a trend re reversal sometimes the biggest volume you also get it at the bottom which is like a capitulation volume so we haven't seen a capitulation volume on the weekly uh, the bulls been doing like a great job okay keeping the price uh, uh you know pretty much very uh very constant in this area you know plus minus you know uh, just about like a 7k range okay so 8k to 6k range so you know with a great buying pressure and we noticed it last week we said uh you know the we said exactly the bulls in control in terms of the weekly time frame so the bears just need to you know be very cautious uh or, or at least like try to you know drop the price lower than uh uh, 6k and keep the price below 7k so that's the safest thing right so we haven't seen a very uh, significant volume in term of weekly uh, that's a that's a very bad sign uh, uh, 
for the you know for the bulls at least for the short term we could be capitulating very 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 soon uh, on coinbase just watch coinbase at least if you try to uh, if you try to like a uh, spot the bottom just watch coinbase you want your uh, uh, selling pressure volume to at least okay if like we can get a selling pressure volume uh, to like a uh, reach this level okay this red line uh, it'll be incredibly good okay so let's say half of that it's like 300,000 selling pressure that's what we got back in uh, back in uh, July June July right uh, roughly around July okay June okay June so on the weekly time frame if you can get like a hundred and fifty let's see half of that roughly around like a hundred and 175 to 250,000 selling pressure just to reach like uh, this level we could be you know looking for a uh, bottom formation sideways you know sideways movement accumulation up and down 20% range just like what we did back in like uh, uh, 2018 right so we did the same thing back in 2018 after we got this capitulation so basically you can notice it it's like something it is very noticeable it's not it, it is not like something you can uh, you can argue about all right it is not something you can argue about so let's look for it on the weekly at least for a short term right the macro level one thing we want to talk about regarding the macro level it is pretty much clear we got a three wave move down abc correction or wxy depending on your uh, uh, depending depending on uh, you know how you want to look at it it is a, a wxy or abc correction right another push to the upside this move is pretty much impulse so what are we looking for we're looking for correction we know exactly this is a correction so but the thing is uh, we don't know if this is a correction from the entire structure or it is just if like we making a correction uh, from this uh, just from this uh, impulse wave okay which is like uh, it could be wave number one and then we're looking for wave number two that's one possible scenario or we just could be correcting and then capitulating down okay so this correction could be a correction of this entire wave so we just don't know yet so we just have to wait till we capitulate see like if like we're gonna be able to make a, a nice bottom formation uh, and uh, basically look for a either possible reversal or a, or a possible continuation so and target to the upside even if you uh, just be very conservative uh, I talked about it in my channel uh, multiple time uh, target to the upside if we uh, you know gonna look for another bull run uh, or the bull run after that we could be hitting all the way up we could be we could be uh, uh, tapping out somewhere around like a 350,000 to uh, you know uh, two hundred and eighty thousand uh, dollar you know uh, uh, top of the bull run basically right so I talked about it many times but uh, I'm gonna make a special video regarding the uh, 18.618 extension uh, move to the upside BTC been making uh, 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 you know been basically been respecting so but let's say we uh, find our bottom right so we uh, if you just like expect a one to one extension of the previous uh, bottom let's say the bottom was like two hundred dollars just take the average between uh, you know this area okay uh, the midpoint okay so a swing uh, swing low to swing high again okay to swing low right around this area of 3100 you can see uh, one to one extension gonna be roughly roughly around like a three hundred and fifty thousand dollar okay one one to one extension so it is it is quite incredible uh, if like we basically if like 3100 uh, 3, was a bottom uh, we, we don't need to fall more we got like a plenty plenty of time basically to uh, you know sell our BTC at some uh, very very expensive uh, very expensive uh, you know prices so no need to fall more uh, we got a uh, plenty of time to buy BTC we got plenty of time to accumulate at least for the short term in my own opinion uh, we uh, basically could be looking for uh, some incredible incredible uh, prices in the near future so uh, just be patient uh, that it's not a financial advice right I'm not saying we're gonna get that nobody knows I'm not I'm not saying we're gonna get there like in 2021 2022 but yeah we just trying to focus on uh, finding the bottom and then uh, as soon as we uh, basically bottom in uh, we definitely gonna be looking uh, 
uh, to uh, uh, for another big move to the upside. Uh, 1.6 on 8 extension. I don't think we're gonna make it anytime soon, which is like 600 and uh, 600 thousand dollars. So we just would be. It is better to focus on the 1 to 1 extension. If 1 to 1 extension is too expensive for you, just focus on like a, a roughly around like a 0 0.618 extension, which is like a $50,000 to a $60,000 range. So give or take, right? So 0 0.618 uh, extension. So hey, what's up, DTEC? Crypto Joe, Mr. BU. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. So I just want to keep you guys updated. I know most of you guys have been looking for 9K, 20K, blah, blah, blah. So I just wanted to uh, keep you uh, uh, basically very uh, 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 very informed about what I think about the market and uh, where we could be headed uh, to at least for the short term, right? So basically, guys, we talk about the macro level. We talk about the volume. We know what, we, what we're looking for. So it is January. Uh, the 8th January 8th for what 2020 right so it is something that you just want to put a you know make a note about watch out for the volume you want to see a, a very incredible volume on the weekly roughly around like above 200,000 selling pressure okay nothing nothing less okay uh, I would say like a hundred and fifty thousand uh, on your volume is okay just like uh, uh, roughly Roughly around like a 75 percent of this top volume. Okay, so that'll be extremely good area to start looking for a uh, you know a possible you know bottom formation, right? So let's move on to the uh, lower degree. So on the lower degree, we're gonna talk about the uh, the 21 EMA. If you've been following, you know uh, we've been looking for two things. Okay, we've been looking for first of all, we've been looking for the weekly weekly 21 EMA. Okay. And exactly spot on guys weekly 21 EMA I know most people started talking about like the weekly 20 EMA uh, 20 MA okay great right uh, but it is very you just have to be constant you just have to be consistent just because we got a rejection from the weekly uh, 20 MA doesn't mean I'm gonna have to switch my strategy and say hey we, we've been uh, we've been a uh, basically got we got a rejection from the uh, uh, from the weekly 20 MA uh, I'm still being very consistent. We got a rejection from the weekly 21 EMA, and you can see the re rejection. Okay, target was 81, 81.50, right? Price went up to 8300, right? But price did not stay, not even like a one hour above our target. Okay, price did not stay. Listen carefully. Even though we uh, it hit like a 81.54 and above. But it just stay above 81.54, not even like a one hour, and then price just started decline. That's you can call that rejection. But let's say we stay uh, above this area for weeks, you're gonna be like, oh, your uh, you know target is basically uh, uh, been delayed. Okay, so but target has not even been delayed like for more than one hour. So that's quite incredible, right? We did not stay above uh, our target for more than one hour, for more than one hour, guys. So. So first thing first, first thing first, weekly 21 EMA. Second, secondly, we've been looking for what? We've been looking for the uh, the daily 100 EMA. Okay, the daily 100 EMA was 79.50. You can see. Okay, the daily 100 EMA, we did break it aggressively. That's good enough, right? And then uh, close above it and uh, went all the way up to 8400 and uh, came back uh, retested now we attempted to close above it so that's it's, it is going to be very incredible if like bc can uh, sustain like a very healthy momentum about this uh, 100 ema on a daily right so we just have to be very careful we got the 20 21 ema uh, it is pretty much dead like you know like we said it uh, got pretty much very tired man trying to sustain the uh, bearish momentum but could not so right now the safest thing for the uh, 21 EMA uh, the safest thing for the 20, 21 EMA to do is like to you know try to sustain a healthy momentum and try to support the price uh, it can do anything okay it can do right now nothing so we could be watching this 21 EMA uh, on the daily which is roughly around like a 7500 range so if we drop that's the next area to find a possible support uh, not even like Elliott wave nothing just to look for a possible support regardless of 0.618 regardless of 50% pullback the 21 uh, basically uh, 
the 21 EMA on the daily definitely uh, with a very high probability gonna stop the price from dropping heavily so do not expect like a, a linear drop like this all the way down to uh, whatever price we're looking for to the downside we're gonna discuss it later uh, that's our next uh, probably next topic right so we're gonna discuss discuss it later uh, we just gonna have to deal with the 21 EMA on a daily right so once again we talk about the weekly 21 EMA and uh, daily uh, 100 MA uh, price got rejected now we're looking for a further move to the downside right so but before we look for a further move to the downside we're gonna focus on our Elliott wave perspective right excuse me uh, when you take a look at our Elliott wave perspective nothing has changed right so we still got our W three-way move down we got our X we got you know uh, the, the Y you could call this Y right Hey, what's up, Kabish? Darius. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. If you're new to the content, first thing first, before you hit the likes, make sure to hit the uh, the notification. You subscribe so you can get these uh, detailed analysis with some crypto, guys. What you get, you get the combo. You get everything. I'm giving you time analysis. Very horrible at it, though. I'm giving you time analysis. Uh, I'm giving you volume uh, on the bigger picture okay I'm giving you your indicators I'm giving you your Elliott waves I'm giving you uh, even like uh, how to basically trade BTC on a lower degree I'm gonna give you some great great skills how to trade BTC on a lower degree the last two live stream uh, I think the last one uh, I give you like a great great insight about like uh, you know price action where to look for BC was like almost 8k and I was telling you guys we're gonna drop down to like a 77.22 we did that exactly so I'm gonna show you how to spot these uh, basically uh, uh, these uh, basically moving averages uh, moving averaging moving averages uh, basically supporting the price in these uh, basically on a lower degree all right so make sure to stay tuned hit the likes subscribe join the public telegram group uh, it's not about being bearish or being bullish it's about making money so if you get don't get too uh too too focused too concentrated about bullishness bearishness Con concentrate about like uh, you know uh being profitable that's the most important everything else is just noise it is just noise so you can be you, you can be a moon boy as much you can and then you just made like a plenty of money by you know pumping BTC from 68 to uh, 85 you're happy right now switch if you BTC is bearish just switch you know side you know take it to the downside that's it that's all you have to do nothing crazy uh, thanks a lot uh, Kavish last live stream was legit uh, legit so let's take a look at it right so we're gonna focus on our Elliott wave on the uh, macro level first of all so uh, so basically we spotted this WXY correction a uh, long time ago so most of you guys been following so you know what I'm talking about right so if you just new to the content uh, you know that's what we're looking for just go back and watch our previous live stream so we said uh, basically uh, uh, the current structure uh, need further sell off it's not me it's not send crypto saying it the chart is saying it all right so the the current structure we got require further selling pressure so this selling pressure we're looking for uh, potentially could be somewhere around here okay somewhere around here and we're going to talk about a uh, uh, you know just a uh, uh, area to look for a possible uh, a possible uh, you know uh, possible uh, uh, price support price activity uh, and uh, some uh, some uh, basically bottom formation uh, a possible bottom formation so we got our W X we got three way move down W we got our X got Y and then uh, got another X very imposed to 10 5 strong drop to the downside and then we're gonna take a look at this area guys in detail guys beautiful that's a beautiful correction right and then uh, we're looking for ABC correction to, to the downside right so that's the WXY correction we're looking for. So if you don't know how to trade WXY correction, make sure to join our premium member, and then uh, you know we're gonna discuss it, right? So uh, we we know uh, we're looking for exactly 
WXY correction. So if you know what you're looking for, right? What's the next step to do? You just have to basically anticipate moves, right? When we first dropped back in like a November, we made this very impulse wave to the downside. We said that's a uh, uh, this move. Okay, we're gonna be correcting at least three weeks. Okay, that's what we said in the premium member, and we've been correcting almost like for over 45 days. We've been correcting. Okay, so it is it is pretty it is pretty uh it is very interesting to understand uh the market structure and you're gonna be very calm and then not do anything crazy right so we said uh this is a very impulse wave so we're gonna need a, we're gonna need a big correction the type of correction we're gonna get guys we said either you're gonna get a flat correction or you're gonna get a descending triangle so remember your b correction right you got a you got b okay let's do it like this so you got impulse wave, right? And then you got B correction, and then you got C correction, right? So your your B correction, you can make, you can uh, you can get two type of correction. Your B correction can be a, uh, a, a descending triangle like this, right? It can be a descending triangle, or it can be a zigzag, okay? Oh, not zig. Uh, it can be zigzag, also flat correction, right? It can be a flat, or it can be a uh, zigzag so you don't know what you're gonna get in these uh, in this area so what you need to do is just anticipate all it, uh, you know this type of correction first thing first you look for your your height you know you're gonna get this move okay this move you know you're gonna get it. regardless which one you're gonna get if you're gonna get like a, a flat I mean a flat or you're gonna get a uh, zigzag you know you're gonna get this impulse wave regardless regardless what, what's gonna what's gonna happen you know you know you're gonna get it, right so first thing first as soon as we get this impulse wave to the upside up to like a 78 and we took a shot from like a roughly around like a 75 75 to 77 all the way down to like a 68 and got out say that's a bull that's a bull uh, territory do not do anything crazy below 7k we've been saying it guys for over a month now so so we got out so we said what we said we said exactly guys uh, the move to the upside we know how to spot it okay and the move to the downside as long as BTC do not break the, the 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 low okay doesn't break the low significantly like this like doesn't break it like this we know how to spot the next move to the upside okay so basically you can take a look at it BTC drop all the way down to 60 64 which is like comparable to 65 right so drop back down to uh, 64 we said that's what you need to do swing high to swing low right and what to ex what, what do you expect guys some of you guys been with a group like long enough to expect what what point 1.27 to 1.41 exactly guys we've been talking about it for a month we basically BC hit 1.27 to 1.41 exactly on the dot so what do we expect if like we get this type of a uh, this type of act this type of uh, accuracy what do we expect next we just have to expect like that's a top that's it that's a top can BTC push back up and retest it absolutely that's different time that's a uh, we're gonna take a look at it on a different uh, different time frame see like uh, to see if BC can go back up and retest this area but it is a very skill uh, it is something very skillful you need to uh, you need to master in order to uh, basically uh, uh, look for top formation uh, and the uh, bottom formation right so basically we know we're gonna make this move to the upside we basically got it so we said this is a uh, this is a three-way move pullback that's the best way you can look at it okay we said that's a you know three-way move I don't have time to go into the uh, uh, lower degree analysis but just look look at it as a uh, you know flat and then uh, uh, you know correction is completed correction is complete and then uh, we most likely uh, gonna make this move all right we most likely gonna make that move to the downside two scenarios gonna happen either it's gonna go up or it's gonna go down I know that <laughs> so so for, that's that's our basically that's what I'm looking for at least for the short term uh, we already got this move to the upside uh, been anticipating anticipated the move uh, up to like 8450 8500 range and uh, before I uh, before a further sell off okay that's the maximum i was expecting uh in that area can it break higher yes market sometimes can prove you wrong and if it proves you wrong it's gonna hit your stop loss you get out reassess reanalyze and uh, strategize and jump back in right but you don't expect to be right all the time and then uh you know 
otherwise we wouldn't be having a stop loss right we wouldn't be having a stop loss we wouldn't be having a stop loss so so it's it's not a it's not an inverse head and shoulder man I, I've been telling you you know I've been telling you like so many times okay uh, when market drops right sometimes it's gonna give you a WXY correction and the easiest way to uh, uh, understand WXY correction it is a uh, you know it is a three 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 right so it is a three 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 like this right so within the three 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 you got multiple head and shoulders you got inverse and you got what you can get inverse and you can get head and shoulders right so so you could somebody like a, with a with a very high IQ could be like oh that's a that's a head and shoulder right and then you're gonna expect market to make a one to one extension right and then you're gonna get stopped out because you know market is not gonna make it right it's not gonna uh, drop that low right so and then uh, you get another head and shoulder in this area right and then you're gonna be like one to one extension again and then you're gonna get another fake out you call it fake out but an Elliott uh, an Elliott wave uh, you know analyst not gonna call it a fake out even if you make a one to one extension the an Elliott wave uh, analyst not gonna call it a uh, yeah, head and shoulder okay uh, they're not gonna call it a head and shoulder they're just gonna call it a uh, WXY so if you don't understand you know market structure you know extension move and all of that uh, I mean you might understand extension move because you're gonna be like head and shoulder one to one that's it but it is not it is not I don't think it's a head and shoulder it is just part of the structure I've been saying it since July and I can give you multiple multiple examples where market says uh, I mean uh, uh, bold uh, bold uh, basically said a uh, head and shoulder and I was like that's not a head and shoulder we most likely going to break to the downside multiple multiple time guys so be careful all right understand WXY correction first WXY correction and then you're gonna you know try to implement your uh, head and shoulder inverse head and shoulder right so I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a good example when you go on the uh, on the lower degree what happened back back then in this era right so and I explained it to my premium group right that time we only had a basically a we only had a basically what what we had we had a what a public telegram group we said uh, market uh, many analysts said uh, oh we got inverse head and shoulder right look at this and I was like that's not inverse head and, I mean I don't I don't want to look at it as an inverse head and shoulder because market make it made a, a very impulse wave right market made a very impulse wave so if I'm expecting a correction I'm gonna expect a ABC another ABC right this T wave is not gonna break the uh, previous top so this is so I don't want to look at this as an inverse head and shoulder that's why that's one of the reason why we showed it at the very top at like a 13k we said 13k was the top we said it at 12 7 get out and it is very interesting one of the reason why we said get out not just because of uh, Elliott waves but also in volume we give guys like heads up at 12 7 get out we got a very big volume it's very interesting and then uh uh, it is most likely uh, it is most likely gonna gonna drop okay most people basically sold at like a, you know 12 7 13 and start accumulating in this area right so it is very interesting guys to uh, pay attention to the uh, to the inverse head and shoulder and all of that nonsense right uh, so sometimes it is just nonsense uh, to talk about the uh, inverse head and shoulder when market is a uh, market is correcting so Uh, he said inverse Craig say inverse head and shoulder needs divergence and impulse not corrective zigzag uh, I, I don't know what you mean but uh, I, I, I'm not counting it as in head and shoulder uh, inverse head and shoulder most of the time I use head and shoulder I give you guys a, a, a great analysis if you go back watch my video like uh, back in uh, August I was I was I was telling you but I was giving you guys a uh, a heads up and I was like how bullish are you guys how bullish are you all right right around this area okay I think it was like August August first week of August okay I'll give you guys a heads up and uh, back in August also most people were looking for this uh, as a uh, symmetrical because everybody want to be bullish and I was like that's very dangerous to uh, to look at the market like this everybody was doing it like this okay most traders wanted to do it like they say oh we're going to the moon right so and I was like that's very dangerous okay just get your uh, 
baseline and uh, be safe get your baseline and everybody now forget about this baseline they forget they forget they forget about the one to one extension to the downside right so you don't want to use your uh, uh, you don't want to do this especially uh, you know on a bigger time frame right so you're gonna be looking for like almost like a 4700 so that has scared you most people don't want to do it like this because the arrow gonna point down like a 40 4500 range okay that's that's it like most people are gonna tell you descending triangle that's the truth right but you're not gonna see anybody talk about it right descending triangle right major move to the, to the from the upside right to the downside to the breakout point that's your target that's I mean that's 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 the reality right so if people calling for like a 4k 4500 range not even based on Elliott wave we got multiple reasons to say hey our Elliott wave count uh, it is being like a confirmed by, by a multiple patterns okay we got a descending triangle uh, at the very top uh, we are basically uh, capitulated down uh, it is most likely you know it is most likely a uh, uh, it is most likely uh, valid. We could be making a one to one extension. Another descending triangle we made. We make, but everybody wanted to look at it as a uh, uh, basically a symmetrical, right? Right. So you, if if you've been, I mean, this one you could be like, oh no, we broke, bro but just just to be safe, I would say, oh, that's that's not that's just to be safe I would have draw it like this okay just to be safe right uh, this one gonna be awkward okay so but this one we got basically a head and shoulder uh, let's see we got this head and shoulder and I talk about it also this head and shoulder back then okay we got this that and then we got this one to one extension to the downside guys look at it exactly that's what I told you guys exactly hit the nail the bottom right nail the bar so if you want to do the same thing in this area you most likely going to nail the bottom if you just want to be if you want to be a, a consistent can it drop lower of course it can drop all the way down to like a uh, you know uh, roughly around like a, a 5k or so 42 40 4200 range 4500 range but we don't want to talk about 45 let's just focus on 5500 range and see what markets uh, uh, you know the crypto market will uh, will uh, will give us right what type of a structure so it is something that you have to uh, pay uh, clear attention, right? So I'm just going to give you another example of a uh, head and shoulder. Let's take a look at it. Uh, the okay, hopefully I can find it. We got one in this area, okay? So we got one in this area. So people been talking about head and shoulder, guys. Oh, uh, head and shoulder, head and shoulder. Guess what? We said BTC. That's the top, guys. That this this candle it started pumping like right after the uh, daily candle closed. I remember exactly, and I was like, we're not gonna break this area. Okay, we most likely gonna do this, right? So same same thing, guys. We made another, you know, same exact mistake we made in this area. Okay, we just made it back in this area also. We got a couple of weeks ago. We also been talking about in, uh, this uh, inverse head and shoulder, okay, like this, somewhere on the lower degree, you can find it. And we said inverse head and shoulder, most people have been looking for what? Uh, most people have been looking for 88. Say so this, uh, we had it, we're gonna, BC gonna most likely go like to 88 or so, something like that, right? And then we said, uh, uh, most likely we're going to be making a one-to-one -one extension to the to the downside so uh, just have to be very 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 cautious with this uh, you know head and shoulder right very very cautious very very cautious very cautious so let's move on to the next topic the next topic we're going to talk about is like volume on a lower degree so when you di when we discuss volume on a lower degree we got yesterday multiple signs uh, BC most likely uh, uh, going to be reversing, but market uh, bulls been ignoring it. Okay, I've been looking for, I've been looking uh, for it, but couldn't find it, right? Because I was too focused on the uh, on the lower degree, and uh, but I could not find it. I was looking for Binance to give me roughly around like a seven thousand, 
uh, selling pressure on the volume on the hourly time frame but couldn't find it okay I got my let's see on the hourly okay that's you can see like these orange these two orange lines they basically notification right in case Binance hourly volume hit like a 12,000 and this one like a uh, roughly 16,000 right so because why I was looking for 16,000 because the highest volume we got you know when we capitulated was 16,000 and most of the time when BC tap out we're gonna it gives us like a 12,000 selling pressure on the volume right it gives us 12,000 selling pressure on the volume roughly around 12,000 right so I was anticipating this type of selling pressure on the hourly but I got it on the 30 minutes okay I found it late though late, very late so you take a look at the hourly time uh, 30 minutes time frame we got it right there okay that was a good warning BC was like 79 that's when we hit our first target uh, rough around like a 7950 it gave us a good warning right so it is time to uh, to get out but just like uh, let's go let's go on the daily I'll show you something very interesting sometimes you don't drop when you need when uh, market uh, doesn't drop when uh, I'm gonna show you because it's quite interesting right very similar structure you just have to go back to the 13k area to find it hey guys make sure to uh, subscribe make sure to join our public telegram group uh, we send crypto you get a you get the combo that's it right so and I showed it like to my uh, public telegram group like back in uh, back in uh, July first week of July I told them guys okay you can see the volume we got in this area it was like roughly around like a 15,000 selling pressure that was a, it was a lot and I was like it is a great sign okay yes it is the end of this correction sometime at the end of the correction you're gonna get a big volume but this volume was abnormal why was it abnormal because it is giving you a a sign of reversal okay it is giving you a sign of reversal market decided to make another five impulse wave but take a look at the volume was increasing increasing slowly and all the moon boys gonna be like bang you know yeah we're going to the moon but guess what at the very top at 14k okay we spotted this volume this volume was 15,000 so it is very abnormal right for the top of your volume okay this was a volume at the top you get in the same significant volume a few days later at the very top so it is telling you okay it is time to be cautious and then you could be capitulating down okay and this guess what few candles later on basically bang 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 right so can take a look at it few candles later BC basically give us a five wave impulse to the downside okay actually you could call it 333 right depending on your uh, your level of uh, understanding the market right so basically we capitulated down afterward we got the same exact move right so and the funny thing is like we got the move at our basically target of 79.50 and the other one at our 81.50 so <laughs> so so you go on the hourly you cannot see it on the hourly but you go on the 30 minutes time frame you can see how big the volume was okay and that's what I was looking for 12,000 exactly guys we got like I mean 7,000 we got exactly 7.1 on the 30 minutes time frame at the very you know at 8k at 8k guys we got 7,000 it was it means it meant it meant like a bit it needed to drop but you know bulls basically been uh, ignoring and then we got another one right right there okay we got two of them and then but they keep ignoring it okay keep pushing keep pushing to the upside finally today we got a very uh, significant volume on the hourly almost like 10 on the 30 minutes almost almost like 10,000 and if you switch it on the hourly you got almost like over 12,000 12,758 right and you go at the bottom right when you take a look at the bottom when we started pushing the volume at the bottom was 12,700 and 
12,755 match it matches exactly the same ex amount of volume same amount of volume is very important I just don't have time to show it to you guys even on the on the high degree we've been make we've been making like this type of uh, you know similarities uh, on the, on the weekly time frame when BTC you know got like almost 1 million volume at the top and 1 million volume at the bottom right uh, and I explained to you guys multiple time uh, in my live stream I, I just gotta find that live stream but it is very very important as soon as we get this volume we know okay it is a sign of busy going to be dropping down but you don't want to like uh, start selling as soon as you get you know a big volume because market sometimes you just have to understand market structure this is a five-way structure and it can give you a three-way move pullback it can give you a three-way move pullback and then you're going to look for a five wave all right and then a part a probable you know very you know scammy week <laughs> okay because when once you get like 33 you're gonna have to uh, make another another very impulse right most of the time but not all the time just like uh, what we did in this era just like what we did in this era okay we are uh, corrected down here and then uh, push back up right so uh, it can it can try to do something very funny so you just don't want to short as now as you see like the big volume but you you just gotta be ready to like uh, find a nice entry all right you gotta be ready so and i said it like uh, in my premium member do not don't try to do anything short in bitsy like uh, you know uh below 8k and then uh, it's gonna pump back up you're gonna be worried and all of that nonsense right and then uh, you're gonna get kicked out easily and we talked about it live because when i was going live earlier btc was uh, btc was like roughly 80 8k 8100 right and it was dropping below 8k i still didn't do anything just uh you know watch it uh, find a nice entry after a very impulse uh, get the next correction to the downside right volatility going to be increasing a lot okay it's going to be increasing a lot in the next few hours okay volume cannot go to zero it is something you just have to uh, remember volume cannot go to zero yeah yeah right so that's a smart money you got to understand how to read volume volume is not gonna it's not gonna tell you like oh you need to sell or you need I mean it's gonna tell you you need to sell but sometimes uh, when you sell at 8k and then price goes up to like 8400 you're gonna be like man I could have stayed right multiple time okay we, we got this smart money smart money was doing it smartly guys like 30 minutes smart money was doing it right on the on the lower time frame they do it slowly they don't do it crazy crazily they just take what they need and then you know correction this correction we also nailed it that was like the three hours live three hours uh, live stream we did well, we I explained to you guys everything regarding this correction and uh, where to look for at the bottom and everything right and then we pumped to the upside right now we're basically repeating the same correction and the, if you're a moon boy you're gonna be like oh look at this we made the same move right so we're gonna be going to the moon right so that's the same exact correction so what do you expect you just have to expect at least BC to try to pump back up right somewhere around here okay 0 0.618 to 0 0.786 area I don't think like uh, I don't think uh, uh, 236 is gonna hold we most likely 236 is most likely going to be in this area okay to, depending on the uh, depending on the wave number five right depending on the wave number five but let's say we assume like uh, that's wave number one, that's two, and then you got three, and then you got four, right? This four, this no, wave number four is very complicated. We might not even done with this wave number four, because the wave number four could be, that's why it is very good, guys, to be very patient and uh, understand your Elliott waves, right? So, otherwise, you're just going to be jumping in and out uh, every single minute, right? You're just, just going to be jumping in and out. All right, so wave number four right so wave number four could be like this like this right and like this okay this could be your wave number four it's gonna be very very complex wave number four and then you could get this ending diagonal all the way down to seven seven and then uh if before before another pump i'm not saying that's what that's what that's what we're gonna get but it is a possibility so do not count like bc dropping and pumping and dropping so best thing to do is just wait for the wave number four to be done so you know you got this is possibly you know one two three four five okay it could be like this ending diagonal right you're gonna get the divergence especially when your volume is low and you got a divergence 
that's extremely extremely in a great indication of a very high very high volatility right so this give you a one two three four and five so you're not gonna worry about like a, a one two three four and five okay this one is not gonna give it it's not gonna be an ending diagonal it's just gonna be this right very impulse right so I don't think it, it could be a very it's gonna be a ending diagonal if like uh, the moon boys want to make it a flat correction so hey what's up dress Steve uh, 3000 uh, moon boy <laughs> so guys if you enjoy the content man I'm giving you a very detailed analysis right the type of analysis I'm giving you is not about news okay it's about especially it's, it is about it is about the chart the candles the volume the moving averages the weekly time frame the monthly time frame the macro level that's what I'm giving you okay so if you want the news you, you know where to find the news but what I'm what I'm giving you guys it is just about charting nothing else okay uh, I don't care about like if like we got a good news and busy pumped everything was already in the chart month ago when we talk about 8400 that was like over 30 days ago we didn't know anything about like uh, uh, you know whatever go whatever is going on outside uh, outside crypto we did not talk about like uh, somebody uh, gonna get in trouble and then basically gonna pump or somebody gonna uh, you know do something and basically gonna pump we didn't talk about that right we talk about all these uh, structure month ago okay when we talk about btc like a uh, dropping down to 7200 btc was above what above 10k right back in august right so gotta keep that in mind gotta keep that in mind so do not focus too much on the news otherwise uh, you're gonna be doing too much in and out uh, everything is already in the chart uh everything uh, uh you know uh, you get uh, everything you need in the chart right so so let's take a look at it so basically guys we talk about the volume on the hourly uh, we know what type of volume you, you need to be looking for uh, it's not going to be constant because volume going to be changing over time so you cannot just say oh I'm going to be looking for uh, you know 10,000 selling pressure all the time on Binance now you just have to watch it carefully whenever you get a structure watch it carefully you know the consistency of your volume okay how the volume is changing at the bottom how the volume is changing at the top you might be taking like the biggest one or the average and know what to look for right just like on the monthly time frame on Binance we've been getting a, like a 1 million trading trading a volume every single month almost right this one right that was, was like 1.6 okay back in March we've been expecting like these volume to increase over time right we've been expecting every single month for okay we basically hit our volume target this one we anticipated 1 million right we expected 1 million we got like 1.2 this one we expect like 1.1.1.4 I think we got 1.5 and this one we expected 1.5 we got 1.6 and uh, as not uh, we closed the uh, candle on July and uh, we said uh, if this candle kind of gonna close red guys we're gonna be in deep trouble we're gonna going to be in deep deep trouble and price can drop all the way down to some crazy low numbers because that's the biggest volume in our uh, Binance history that's the biggest volume in Binance history this one was a uh, yep yep that's that this one was the biggest one until like uh, at the top and then you got another biggest one so which which mean like this volume this selling volume on a monthly time frame when we hit like a 12k 13k when I said get out you see it is bigger than the volume at the bottom that gives you like uh, the end of the trend but most people don't analyze volume like this okay they don't analyze volume like that so it is quite a uh, uh, quite interesting to uh, to pay attention to the volume guys so uh, we're gonna take a look at the lower degree once again and then uh, we're gonna uh, discuss like where could we uh, where can we expect the price to uh, find some uh, temporary support right so lower degree we already talked about the uh, five way structure down this could be the ending diagonal right there okay this could be the ending diagonal and then uh, probably break this uh, one hour you know 100 AMA jump back above it and then I'll uh, give you another push back up we could expect like another push up to like a 0 0.61 0 0.786 just to be very 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 safe don't I wouldn't try to expect like a uh, let's say a you know 
the bottom going to be wave number five gonna be gonna be rough around like uh, this area which is below the uh, 100 AMA support right there just about like a 75.58 range right or like a you know 78.50 in this area the mid the midpoint going to be 78 right so you could expect 0 0.786 to be roughly around like a 83 roughly around like 83 if like we do not get a uh, uh, get it up to that point you still can uh, anticipate the uh, 100 AMA to support it's still gonna be close enough to like 8330 if uh, it wants to like uh, give us another scammy week and people are gonna fall more tomorrow and say oh we beat the uh, big pullback all right because we're gonna push back up roughly around like a 600 point right so but it's not it could be very impulse also right so it could be very impulse three not three but uh could be moving very fast to be moving very fast because the volume is nearly zero on the uh, on the hourly okay this top one was 12,758 uh, the current one we're getting it is uh, roughly 1,000 that's very low that's not even uh, you know 10% of the top volume so next volume it cannot be lower than this one also right so it means we're gonna get like 500 uh, uh, 500 uh, uh, 500 uh, uh, 500 uh, uh, BTC selling pressure, right? So that's that's going to be very low, right? That's going to be very low. Yeah, we got one. This small candle, sometimes you get like 400, 500. But uh, at the end of the correction, it is most likely uh, uh, going to pick up. It's going to be a very big volume. And this big, big volume cannot, I don't think it's going to be a uh, a red one. It could be a green one just to uh, to, to, uh, to create some form on Some form on S. Some form on <laughs> So, hey guys, make sure to hit the likes, man. We got a uh, 86 watching, and then uh, we got 45 likes. Let's just try to make it a. Uh, uh, let's try to put it a. Uh, put it up there and make it a. Uh, you know, uh, 75 likes, man. It doesn't cost you anything to like it. You you getting the you know one of the best analysis in crypto. Uh, you get the combo with 10 crypto. Uh, you get the volume. Uh, you know you get the moving averages. You get the RSI, MACD. Uh, you know, uh, price action, uh, you know, how to anticipate, uh, you know, reversal pattern, Elliott waves. You get everything in one package. Okay, so make sure to join our uh, basically a uh, premium member so you can uh, learn all this good stuff, right? All this good stuff. Yeah, but uh, I'm, I, I just don't have a, you know, I just don't have a, any official target. I'm just watching it and see like uh, how this uh, wave going to be uh, playing out. Uh, and then uh, we could look for a, a beautiful, uh, beautiful target, uh, and then uh, take it to the downside or to the upside, right? Take it to the downside or to the upside. So, All right. So we talked about this 1.27 to 1.41 uh, extension. Uh, it is a nice uh, confluence like uh, we hit, we now hit 1.27 to the upside we hit 1.27 to the 1.41 to the upside so we need to look for the 1.27 to the downside to the opposite direction 1.2 1.27 to 1.41 going to be 55 5500 range 55 78 to 66 uh, you know 66 uh, uh, 66 I mean a 50 5868 right so and just to give you guys a uh, a great great example when we this one was live okay when we hit BTC, when we hit like a 72 to 74 that was live okay because we've been anticipating it like uh, this entire move we've been anticipating BC to drop down to 72 to 74 range right and uh, basically our uh, group uh, does of a uh, uh, those of you guys have uh, been a uh, uh, swing trading most of you guys uh, uh, took some uh, entry uh, took some uh, nice uh, chunk of BC right around this area 72 to 74 right so you can see it swing low swing low to swing high we hit this one on the dot guys swing low to swing high and not just that before that we spotted this one also right Guess what? How we spotted it? Swing high. Swing high. To swing low. How we spotted it, guys? Uh, we shot it exactly at where? Uh, 80, 
8550 to 8650 price jump above uh, this area but still we knew that's the highest it can go okay we are basically and that's why we entered too early and then say okay if it if it pump that's the highest it can go it did that and then a uh, price drop all the way down to our target guys of uh, 72 to 74 so uh, and if you do the same thing in this area from a uh, swing high to swing low okay we pump all the way up this one was kind of crazy. The, the pump was extremely, extremely uh, aggressive. Uh, but you could at least, you know, start shorting in this area. And we did that exactly. We uh, basically, uh, you know, as nice it pumped like to 10.5, to down to 95. We shorted it all the way down to like a 88, uh, 99, 88, 94. And then started 93, 86. It pumped back up to 81. We took it back down to 84. And then uh, get out, right? So. So if you understand this stuff guys you're gonna be very calm and uh, you're gonna be very uh, uh, very very uh, uh, very relaxed with BTC gonna be very relaxed with BTC hey what's up Eric hey man yes man uh, I give him I give Jim a shout out all the time so uh, uh, Jim and Hippo. So if you guys don't know who's Jim, uh, Jim of all trader, all trades, Jim of all trade, right? So you can uh, check him out. Uh, uh, you know he does uh, almost live stream every single day. So I don't do live stream every single day because I do like live stream for my premium group. So if you you don't see Send Crypto, uh, you can uh, watch Jim. He's gonna tell you the same thing because uh, I'm pretty sure he spotted this move. Uh, I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, like uh, expected uh, another impulse or uh, any type of fake out I'm pretty sure uh, he would have a uh, uh, most Elliott wave analyst is gonna tell you this is a correction okay we all been uh, looking for this move right how high it is gonna how high it would have uh, uh, you know we would be how high we could have get it that's a big question but we basically uh, uh, you know understood like this is a three-way move and uh, if you're in my premium we basically short a basis 73 to 75 range right here and then took it down to 68 and then said like this is a three-way move this is a three-way move so a possibility to make this one is, is it is very highly probable right so one to one extension to the upside you can look at it like that also right you got multiple way of looking at it whenever you get a double correction guys you're gonna get an impulse okay not one never but you can anticipate it double 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 okay impulse so this one most of the time five okay one two three four five right so which is like a flat correction uh three three five right that's why people say three three five three three five okay so sometimes you can get it three three five okay just like a bitcoin cash right so hey what's up philip Thanks a lot for tuning in, Milton. Yes, most idiot wave traders are gonna call for the downside, man. Only, uh, only uh, the moon, uh, moon boy catalyst, uh, gonna call for, uh, call for. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, it is nothing wrong to call for 20k, 50k, you know. But uh, it is just, it is better to. Uh, uh, you know to uh, to look at the market like a uh, differently and uh, I mean go with uh, you know your strategy we all strategize assess and uh, execute right so basically you know we all do doing the same thing we just doing it differently right we all make try to make money so uh, that's all okay they want to make money by uh, a pump in BTC and selling at the top and uh, we want to make bit money by shorting BTC accumulating buy it at the bottom and sell it at the top it's, it's the same thing it's not nothing it's, it is a uh, it is not it, it is not about uh, uh, being bearish or being bullish okay the goal is the same thing yes yes so you can watch his uh, Thursday night uh, sometime uh, one hour two hours a uh, live stream right so you can watch it uh, uh, and then uh, learn about Elliott waves. So, but one thing, one thing first, guys. I don't. I don't you just have to understand like uh, uh, five different things. Okay, you just have to understand impulse corrections, right? Uh, the type of corrections, 
you gotta understand this you gotta you know, five wave impulse flat uh, flat zigzag uh, your triangle okay your contracting triangle these four uh, uh, if you understand these four uh, you, you should be okay okay and then uh, you know the rest you can just incorporate it your WXY but most most uh, the most important thing is like understand uh, uh, impulse correction correction and uh, a uh, basically either contracting or descending triangle right so after you understand this stuff uh, you can uh, incorporate it into one uh, one uh, basically one uh, uh, one correction which is your W X Y right X Y correction right the reason why I do it like this because this is a B wave sometimes it can be a triangle or it can be a contracting so you don't have to always uh, look at it as a uh, 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 look at it as a uh, basically a flat or zigzag you can get a descending triangle so this is going to be a a b c uh, you got a b c that a that's b and c okay your b wave it can be a uh, you know a uh, basically descending triangle abc correction in there or like abcde or one two three four five however you want to count it but it is very important to understand these are uh, four structures and then uh, after that you can uh, basically uh, try to uh, try to uh, be very uh, be very technical either go up or go down yep eta is not a eta is a worthless coin worthless uh, coin i mean eta is not a it is not worthless uh, uh we just in a bear market so everything seems to be worthless tactical uh right so guys I'm, i just wanted to uh, keep it very simple today just about a uh, btc so you guys can uh re-watch it later on uh, if you want to you know uh take a look at uh, other coins uh, make sure to join our public telegram group or our premium member uh group uh, and then uh, we can uh, basically uh, discuss like other coins right so basically uh let me see who's in the house i think uh k4 k4 liberty is not in the house let me take a look at a uh, Bitcoin cash for K4 K4W K4 Liberty. <laughs> uh, da -da. Okay, so Bitcoin cash uh, give us a very uh, impulse wave, uh, a very impulse wave uh, to the upside. Even though we uh, anticipated a, a pullback, this pullback is pretty uh, pretty aggressive. Uh, uh, exactly at the 21 EMA, so. First thing first, Bitcoin Cash. We said uh, this move, it is very. Uh, when we dropped like in this area, let's take a look at the daily. So when Bit when Bitcoin Cash was dropping, okay, we said this move, okay, it is a uh, it is a signature move for Bitcoin Cash, okay. Most of the time, if it's gonna make give you a very impulsive wave, and we nailed this one, right? We this one we said it live stream, even before BTC pump, we said like. This is a very signature move, signature move for Bitcoin Cash. Okay, it is a flat correction, right? We made another one. Okay, we made this one and this one. Okay, so we basically been anticipating Bitcoin Cash to do something uh, similar, but the, the the extension of this move is very very impulsive, just like what BTC did. So so it is something we just have to keep in mind in case B B Bitcoin Cash uh, repeat it again. But we basically been anticipating a very very impulsive. I was just expecting it to be like uh, make a, a lower uh, make a lower high and not break this area of a. Uh, uh, 230 range but it did but it is okay it is it is a uh, uh, it is part of the structure it is just like you know you long it from this area when we call like a bitcoin cash could be dropping to 180 to one uh, 172 180 185 range if you long it in that area you you're not gonna be worrying too much you just take profit and uh, let uh, let the market go right but uh, uh, the main thing is like 
uh, we basically spotted this uh, area to move to the downside right if we if it drop we know where to expect it and if it pump we basically got some sort of idea where you know we could be a start like a start selling at least for the short term very bearish big tail big wig small body not even on uh, let's take a look at it we're not even yet on the uh, uh, on the Hakenashi candle, we haven't seen like a big tail, big wick, small body. So it means volatility gonna gonna resume, and then we're gonna get that big tail, big wick, small body type of a candle, and then uh, on the Hakenashi, and then we can uh, uh, start a speculating a, uh, about a possible further sell off, right? So, so if like we're looking for a uh, move to the downside target, could be roughly around like a you know two hundred dollar range, right? Which is like almost a uh, uh, 15 percent drop right 15 percent drop so for bitcoin cash though so roughly around this area i don't think it's gonna drop nastily uh best thing to do is just like take it slow and not expecting a uh, heavy heavy uh, hey what's up jmart a heavy selling pressure right so All right, guys. I'm just gonna call it a night. Uh, hopefully, you guys are uh, gonna stay safe, and then uh, market vo volatility should resume uh, very soon within the next few hours, guys. So, like I said, uh, the six to the twelve going to be very volatile, and we seen that type of volatility, right? So, but can Bitcoin Cash push high and make this uh, entire structure, uh, you know, a flat? Uh, it is. Uh, we just have to wait and see, right? But uh, as of now, I don't see like a big on Bitcoin Cash, I haven't even seen like seen like a big selling pressure. So let you know that's quite uh, interesting. That's quite interesting. The selling pressure on the uh, daily for Bitcoin Cash is not that much. So let's see if like uh, the bulls gonna be keep buying and push the price up to like a three hundred dollars, right? But it is still going to be a uh, a flat, uh, which uh, which is uh, going to make a. Uh, uh, the structure very very bearish okay so it's going to make it very bearish very bearish okay so this way you could count it as a one two three four five right and then this is going to be your B wave you know, which is uh, what I was just showing you right so your ABC correction so right so and then uh, you're gonna get another very impulse this one gonna be very nasty it's, it's gonna look like what BSC did from 10.5 to like a 60 6500 right but uh, let's see if like we can push high if it if it pushes higher that's great it's gonna give us a, a better better structure because we uh, we basically uh, we basically uh, understand this structure you know it is a uh, basically uh, XRP did it right that's the same structure XRP did in this range, right? So I wouldn't say like a Bitcoin Cash is not going to do it, right? So, but we're just gonna keep a, keep an eye on it, right? So it is the same structure, right? So EOS also did it, right? Same structure, same structure same structure so let's see if Bitcoin cash is gonna make it I don't think it will because it means that basically gonna if Bitcoin cash going to 200 I mean 300 dollars it means BTC gonna go above like 9k right it's gonna push another 10 uh, 10 15 30 percent right so that's one of the reasons I don't think like we got uh, enough power but the structure is there if it makes it we know it is uh, giving us a better bearish uh, pattern right if it pushes all the way up to 300 I'm not trading Bitcoin Cash, but I'm just watching it to monitor BTC, right? But uh, if it does, that'd be great. It'd be great. So, thanks a lot, Mustafa. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching, man. I'll talk to you guys later in uh, you know public Telegram group. If you know uh, in our basically a uh, premium group, I talk to you in Discord, right? Alright, thanks a lot for watching.